The Genomics England Clinical Interpretation Partnership is the opportunity to engage researchers, colleagues from the National Health Service, those in training and people in a pre-competitive partnership with industry to drive up the quality of the data and its interpretation so that we can take it back into transformation in the National Health Service. Well, we're treading new ground here and clearly patients want to join in because they want a diagnosis. They want to make a difference either from themselves or people who follow them. So it isn't just about collecting data, whether it's your genomic data or your clinical data. It's about putting that all together and seeing what it means. And the clinical partnership is bringing the people in to really look at the data and say, what does this mean for an individual and for populations? Only when we've got this working well can we help patients. And you know, no one else has managed this in the world. We have a real opportunity here to make a big difference. So we need a coalition of your intellects to come together, and that means researchers, the NHS, and those in training to drive up the fidelity of interpretation of this data so that we can actually accelerate genomic diagnoses back into the clinic and that the NHS Research Collaborative becomes the ambassadors of bringing this into healthcare, such at the end of 2017, when our mission is coming to a close, there will be a framework, there will be the appetite and the enthusiasm and the definite evidence that we should do this uh, for our patients. So the goal of this is to secure the maximal patient benefit. We uh, are fully aware of the challenges. What we're doing tonight is asking you to join us in this incredibly challenging space to bring the talent of your universities, the NHS and trainees to bear in a unique collaborative where what's on the table today is 100,000 genomes and a longitudinal life course resource on patients with rare disease, cancer and infection. I'm a, a research scientist and I'm very interested in rare diseases, and in particular muscular dystrophy. And this is, gives us an opportunity to bring clinicians, genome scientists together to work out what is wrong with these patients, which genes are faulty, then think of developing new treatments. So we're really excited about the opportunities. I think the reason that GSIP is so important is that it allows basic researchers and clinical researchers to work together to get the best out of, of 100,000 genomes. It's the best way to make people interact and get more than the sum of the parts. For ultra-rare diseases, we'll need to collaborate internationally. If the data is held inside the Genomics England data set, how will we collaborate? Without giving them our patient data and without them giving us their patient data, we can run queries across that. It's only the results that get combined and you find the answers to the questions. This is also what the Global Alliance and others have in mind. You don't have to take NHS patient data and ship it anywhere else in the world any more than you need to bring the data from the States here. Mm. And that's the approach that we'll be taking. One of the most, uh, the things I'm most proud about at the moment is our relationship with Genomics England and the bringing of genomics into healthcare for everybody across the UK and globally.